effort to Connick to mismatch the rips once and clear save. Rebound Kawaguchi scores. Wow. How about that one? Right between the legs. legs. Kawaguchi with a stunning goal to give North Dakota a 3 to 2 lead and his 10th goal of the season. I got to see that again. Jordan Kawaguchi has put forth a strong season on the ice, but his teammates praise him as a stand-up person first and foremost. It's nice um, when a guy like that has, is having such good success and um, he's a down-to-earth guy and um, it just keeps all of our egos in check and I think it's huge for our team and speaks a lot of his character and um, what he does for our team. You know, Kooch is obviously an unbelievable player. Um, He's shown throughout the year, you know, what kind of things he can do. Uh, but I think off the ice, he's just a normal guy. He's a genuine person. Um, always wants to get better. Uh, I think, you know, with with Gooch, his biggest, you know, attribute is probably being a great teammate. Uh, not only uh, in the locker room, on the ice, uh, out of the rink, he's, you know, just a great guy. And I think for him to have all the success that he's having right now, you know, it's not. Uh, it's, he's, he's brought it all himself. He's, he's worked hard, um, you know, coming off of uh, shoulder surgeries. Worked hard in the gym all year. I think Jordan and a lot of the other guys on our team, I think there's a huge emphasis on being a good teammate and being part of a family. And it's no different for Jordan. He's been an outstanding teammate, an outstanding leader, especially to us freshmen, and, you know, keeps everyone else on the team accountable as well. I was uh, obviously I'm unbelievable excited that being my first goal and he had the biggest smile I've ever seen and uh, came out to me, told me congratulations, got my puck for me and yeah, it was, it was pretty special. His line mates noticed a change in his approach to the game before the season started. I think freshman year coming in, you know, he wasn't very as vocal as he is now, but as an assistant captain, he has to be very vocal and um, get the guys going, especially in games. So he's usually the first one to say something when things aren't going well or when they're going right. He gives guys pats on the back and stuff like that. But um, overall, I think he's just grown individually and as a player, and I think people are starting to see that now. When you're trying hard in practice and you want to score goals, you want to create chances, I think that you see that in games. And um, But when he gets, when he's upset, he can, uh, you know, he can, you'll hear his voice out there for sure. He'll, He'll let you know whether or not you're playing good or not. So, um, more so in practice, but it's come out a little bit in games. But that's all right. It happens to everybody, and you know, everyone's got that drive. Jordan plays a big part in bringing positive morale to practice. I think you know that top line, uh, Grant, Colin, and, and him like to go at it. Um, you know, if something they don't agree with, you know, the three of them they like to uh, bicker at each other and. And, uh, you know, but I think when you're playing like that and, and you bring that fire out of all three, I think it makes everyone better. Um, you know, you'd rather have a couple guys, you know, bring a, bring a little bit more to the, to the practice and stuff like that than, you know, be quiet and, and uh, you know, seem not engaged, so. I know he uh, likes to joke around on the ice and mess around with guys, but when it's serious, um, he definitely gets serious and uh, gives us motivation on the bench in games and in practice. So he's just a good teammate and a good leader. Reflecting on the season up to this point, one cannot help but marvel at the plays he has made. And there's a lot of plays that he makes where um, sometimes he gets it on my tape and I'm just not even ready for it. Sometimes it's just there and I'll tap it in. But <laughs> um, I remember uh, who were we playing? Um, yeah, I think it was CC, CC a few weeks ago, and uh, I was just kind of going harder than that. 
and uh, I just had my stick on the ice and he put it between some guy's legs and uh, right on my tape and I just kind of tapped it in. So uh, just little plays like that and obviously the between the legs goal, that was, that was pretty special and uh, it's good to see that. The goal between his legs, I was kind of like, did he actually just do that? So it kind of shocked me, but I mean, knowing him, that, that really doesn't surprise me, but just in the moment, I was kind of a little shocked about that. I see videos of him on Twitter and stuff when he was a junior, and um, I think just guys like that, it, it's, it's cool to see how, how well they're doing, how, you know, how determined he is to, you know, hopefully win the Kobe Baker, and um, I think that'd be awesome for him and, and for the program, for sure. Uh, something like Gooch, I know we don't play together, but, you know, whenever I'm in the lineup, uh, as soon as uh, the anthem's over, he gives me a little uh, let's go Keener, and we've kind of done that all year, and that's, uh, I think it just kind of shows, you know, he's got a great relationship uh, on and off the ice, and I think he's just a great guy for sure. Points court. <laughs> Grant. Oh, all right. We'll go back on that one. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs>